Okay, I'm going to show you how to quick and easily add a scroll view to your project. So I'm going to go in storyboard here. And first thing I'm going to do, because um, anytime I have some kind of motion, I like to turn off auto layout. So I'm going to go in here and uncheck that and hit disable size and classes. And then let's throw a couple of things to our... Um, Board. We'll put a label in here. Say scroll top. All right. I'll duplicate that. Scroll bottom. And so anything that you could add as many things as you want. Um, we just need to make labels for anything that you add. And to do that, we're going to I mean, um, we're going to make outlets, not labels. There are already labels. You hold down the control key, drag and drop right inside the class, and we'll call this scroll top. And do the same thing for this one. Scroll bot. All right, so once you have that, I'm going to have as uh, I always do, I'm going to share this code with you. Um, but so let's go to our viewcontroller.swift. I'm going to put in in the view did load. This code lets us get the size of the screen because we're going to need that to programmatically um, size our scroll view. And I'll show you the code you need for that. Um, so all this does is Get the bounds of the screen and then set the size and the width, the height and the width. And then right here, um, we're creating a scroll view. So creating a scroll view, and then we're going to um, use that scroll view and create the size of it. So we're using that scroll view outlet and creating the size of it. And I'm starting it down a little bit from the top of the page. Usually I do that because I typically am using a scroll view because I have a header at the top of the page. But if you don't, you can make this 0, 0 to be the top of the page. And then I want it to be the screen width and height. So it takes up the entire page. You can fit this to meet your needs, though. And then we're going to say um, the content size. And I put in 1,500 just arbitrarily. Um, that's pretty big so that uh, it should fit all my content. And we're going to, the next bit of code we're going to use, we're going to add our um, outlets to our scroll view. And so the name of our outlets were scroll top and scroll bottom. And Lastly, the last thing we need to do is add our scroll view to the view, right? Um, I'm going to show you one other thing. So this bit of code here will allow us to position our labels if we wanted to. I'll share this code with you. This may be not anything you're interested in, but this is uh, saying, hey, I'm going to put this outlet in the middle of the page, and let's say... Um, screen height plus uh, 200 um, so that it's out of view to start out with okay let's see how that works I'm gonna uh, run this in the emulator an iPhone 6 emulator and there we go so there's the scroll top as I scroll there's the scroll bottom and say so I put it in the middle of the page and down a little bit so it took a little bit to get up to the top. So pretty nifty. It works pretty well. And you can kind of see that the, uh, the top is 120 offset from the, from the top of the screen. Um, I hope that you find this helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. And please subscribe.